Hey everyone, welcome to the super full moon in Capricorn. Also, it is the buck moon. And this group ritual is for creativity as well as wisdom. I'm going to go ahead and name off the candles and the numbers. I already have all of the candles uh, carved and melted onto the tray for you guys. Uh, when you want to do a wisdom or creativity spell, I like to use the color yellow. Um, so for candle number one, back here on the back row on the far left is candle number one. And candle number one is for Jubilee W. Jubilee W is candle number one. Um, I don't have your birth date or anything like that, so I apologize, but Jubilee, that is your candle, candle number one. Candle number two is DM71496. Candle number three is MS41277. Candle number four is HV112396. Candle number five is TNAV102485. Candle number six is AV101271. Candle number seven is CD92583. Candle number eight is EA11495. Candle number nine is EM112889. And candle number 10 over here is CM21598. And the very last candle on the back row over here on the far right is KL42689. So the first 11 candles are here on the back row. Now, starting on the middle row on the far left, middle row far left is candle number 12. Candle number 12 is AC62660. Candle number 13 is KB71984. Candle number 14 is CF102771. Candle 15 is MA91490. Candle number 16 is SN31789. Candle number 17 is CC91490. Candle number 18 is MJ12573. Candle number 19 is LJ52883. Candle number 20 is JA10680. Candle number 21 is PH71492. And the last candle on the middle row over here on the far right is candle number 22, which is CF21996. Now on the front row over here on the far left, on the front row is candle number 23, MA11986. Candle number 24 is ACO22893. Candle number 25 is actually a candle. <laughs> um, at this point, I thought uh, no one else was gonna book, so I myself a, a candle, candle number 25. Um, but then a couple more people books. So we also have candle number 26, LB7787, and candle number 27, which is the candle on the far right, Tierra81392, for this last candle over here on the far right. So that's everyone's candles, 27 candles here on the tray. So I do not have a mixture already made. Usually I have candle mixtures already made in a mason jar, but I do not have a mixture made for creativity and wisdom. So I'm going to make that mixture now. Uh, if you guys want to learn, I know not everyone that watches this participates. Sometimes people watch my group rituals just because they want to learn how I do things, which is totally fine. Which by the way, shout out to the girl who uh, donated $10 via Cash App today. Someone sent me $10. Um, because they used one of my money spells and I just thought that was really sweet of them to do that. So thank you to the person who did that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to make my wisdom and creativity candle mixture and show you guys what I put in this. So the first thing I'm going to use is ground cardamom and this is actually going to be used for clarity. So I'm using ground cardamom for clarity. This is a good herb to use for clarity. And I know a lot of you is trying to manifest clarity right now, so that's why I'm going to use cardamom. I'm actually going to be using coffee as well. 
Coffee uh, helps provide a peace of mind and it does help ground you um, in regards to spell work. But also a good reason why I'm using coffee is because coffee is also used to kind of expedite your spell work. So I'm going to be using coffee grounds to expedite everyone's manifestations for this ritual. I like to consider coffee kind of a spell work stimulant. I'm also going to be using ginger. Uh, ginger is going to also speed up and speed up the spell work as well as make the spell work potent. So we're going to be adding some grounded ginger as well. Another good thing to use is basil. So we're going to add some basil. Next, I'm going to be adding parsley. And I'll also be adding some thyme leaves as well. So parsley and thyme. And I will also be using dill weed, okay? So let's add some dill weed into the mixture and some ground cinnamon. I'm also gonna be adding chamomile, you guys. Go to your tea section, okay? People don't realize this, but it, you could do so much spell work just from the tea section of your grocery store because they have all kind of like dried herbs, dried flowers in tea sections. So I'm just gonna be adding some of this chamomile to the mixture. And I'm also gonna be adding peppermint, okay? Peppermint or mint in general is really, really good for this type of spell work. Peppermint is really good for this type of work. So I'm going to be adding this bag of peppermint as well into this mixture. So I'm going to just mix all of that up with my hands. Uh, usually when I pour ingredients into a mason jar, I will just shake up the mason jar. Um, but since I'm just making a mixture for tonight, I'm just using my hands to mix everything up. All right, I think everything is really good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle this candle mixture all over everyone's candles. And I must say this stuff smells really, really good. I can definitely smell the mint and the cinnamon and the coffee is very prominent smells. <laughs> so I'm just adding this mixture pretty much everywhere. Don't worry if things get messy, okay? Spell work always gets messy. You're going to make a mess when doing spell work. You're gonna be getting your hands dirty. You know, you're going to make messes around the table. It's completely normal. So next I'm going to add some bay leaves. Bay leaves is also really good for the spell. And I will also be adding some cinnamon sticks as well. Cinnamon is really, really good. Honestly, the main, if, if you could have any ingredients in this spell, I would really recommend peppermint and cinnamon, probably even the coffee. But peppermint, cinnamon, coffee is like really good for this type of work. I also have some ritual oil here. This is from one of my favorite brands, Art of the Root. They have a clarity and creativity oil. If you guys can see. Sorry for the shadows and the poor lighting. I, I never have a ring light for this section of my room, so I apologize. 
um, but this is the Clarity and Creativity Oil from Art of the Roots. So I'm just going to add this oil to everyone's candles. Trying to get like every little last bit of it out. All right, so used up that bottle. I think I had about I had about half a bottle left, so I just used the entire half of the bottle. Um, since there's so many candles, I also have uh, different gemstones I've placed out that I feel like are really good for this type of work. I have uh, fire quartz. I have lapis lazuli, I have malachite, I have red jasper, amethyst, lemon calcite, sodalite, tiger's eye, citrine, and also red car carnelian. And in the back, something told me to add honey calcite and copper, so I added some honey calcite and copper. I also have a sunstone pyramid over here, and something told me to add my uh, chakra palm stone, so I have that over here as well. You guys know I love color magic, so I'm going to be adding some yellow glitter to the tray as well. I really feel like the color yellow is really good for um, creativity and wisdom. Also, you guys, you can always use white candles for literally anything. White candles are good for certain things, but they're also good as a substitute candle. So if you never have a certain color candle, you guys, you can always use a white candle for a substitute color, okay? I also have a little yellow tea candle over here as well. Um, it's This is nobody's candle. It's just there to be there because this statue has a candle holder in it. So... I put a little yellow tea light candle there as well. So some of the incense I will be using is Egyptian Jasmine. Um, I'm mainly using this because energies that I will be working with is Thoth or Thoth, however you want to pronounce it. Some people say Thoth, some people say Thoth. So I'm using Egyptian Jasmine for him. So I'm going to be putting that right here. I'm also going to be using eucalyptus. Remember how I said peppermint or mint is really good for this type of work. So I will be using eucalyptus hand rolled incense as well. Now these are hand rolled. I don't think the Egyptian jasmine is hand rolled, but these ones are. Actually, I'm gonna switch this over. I'm gonna put the Egyptian jasmine incense over here on the Egyptian incense holder instead. And then I will put the eucalyptus on this one. All right, so I'm putting the eucalyptus one on, over here instead. Um, I also have another good incense you can use is like cinnamon or apple. Um, so I'm also going to be adding some apple incense. Well, it's apple cinnamon, and both of these things would be good for this type of spell work as well. So I'm just gonna add some apple cinnamon incense over here with this. Um, so going back to the energies, I'll be working with the statues I have out. I have the goddess Athena. Athena was a very, very wise goddess. So I'm using Athena for her wisdom here. I will also be using the god Thoth, the Egyptian god Thoth. And I will also be working with the goddess Danu. So the goddess Danu, the god Thoth, and goddess Athena. Now, you guys do not have to use flowers. I personally like to buy flowers as offerings for the energies and deities, gods and goddesses that I work with. I like to give flowers to them. Um, so I picked out some yellow roses. So I'm going to trim and clip these yellow roses and just put it around the ritual table. All right, so I'm done setting the roses where I wanted to place them. I believe I'm done setting everything up. Sorry guys, usually I show you this in the beginning, but I completely forgot, but yeah, as you can see, it's the full moon, 99.9%. Um, we're about to, we are about to hit 100% energy of the full moon. 
Um, probably right when I light it, it's going to hit around 100%. So I just wanted you guys to see full moon Capricorn about to hit you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and then turn it back on when I light the candles. So I'm going to go ahead and light candle number one, candle number two, candle three, candle four, candle five, and six. Candle seven, candle eight, candle nine, candle ten, candle eleven, candle twelve and thirteen, candle fourteen, candle fifteen. Candle 16, candle 17, candle 18, candle 19, candle 20, candle 21, candle 22, candle 23, Candle 24, candle 25, candle 26, and candle 27. Go ahead and light the eucalyptus incense. the apple cinnamon incense and the Egyptian jasmine incense. Light goddess stand in this candle. I love how Miss CM's flame, she knows who she is, Miss CM back there, candle number 10. Your flame is looking real good in this ritual. Candle number nine, two as well. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everyone who booked this ritual. 
The next group ritual will be on July 28th. It is a Jezebel group ritual. If you guys are interested in that. But I love you guys so much. I'm going to hop off here. I'll probably make one more quick little video of what it looks like when everyone's candles is burnt down a little bit more. But I need to get off here so I can put my love and energy into this spell. So... I need to get off here to meditate. I love you guys.